I'm looking for a girl with long hair, low iron. As someone who has brown eyes and has low iron, although this is common in women and girls who have periods, actually, it's not normal. Hi, I'm Dr. Nagat, a GP with a specialist interest in women's health and the author of The Knowledge, Your Guide to Female Health from Menstruation to the Menopause, where I've written a whole chapter on anemia, iron deficiency anemia and periods. And did you know that 29% of women and girls who are having period are at risk of having iron deficiency anemia? And yes, it's common, but it's not normal. And here are a few things that you can do. The relationship between heavy menstrual bleeding and iron deficiency anemia is well known. It's something that as doctors, we've been managing for a long time, but actually half of women don't seek help for it. Now, iron deficiency anemia is mainly because you're not producing enough iron, you're not able to use up all your iron supplies to make the red blood cells. Red blood cells carry a lot of oxygen and all the nutrients, all the good stuff that we need in and around our body. Now, there are other things that can lead to iron deficiency anemia, such as a vegan or a vegetarian diet, or if your diet isn't rich on iron supplementation as well, and other conditions such as celiac, so anything that's in the gut that's not going to absorb iron or in your stomach that's going to impact the absorption of iron is also going to affect you and cause iron deficiency anemia. You know, heavy menstrual periods is one of the biggest reasons. Now, being a brown girl myself and South Asian people, we do have a risk of, say, thalassemia as well, which can also lead to iron deficiency anemia. So vitally important that if you suffer from heavy periods and heavy bleeding, that you don't put up with the symptoms and then you seek help. So the symptoms of iron deficiency anemia are headaches, poor concentration, looking pale, feeling cold, reduced performance. So girls feel really tired. They might not want to participate in activities, might not want to participate in sports, etc., and hair loss as well. Having iron deficiency anemia just makes you feel constantly tired. So for me, I feel tired, but I also get craving. So if you're getting a sugar craving or carbohydrate craving, that could also be a sign of iron deficiency anemia. And as this says, heavy menstrual bleeding is recognized medical condition, but half of women ignore it. And did you know women are 10 times more likely to get iron deficiency anemia or are anemic than men? When we're running on empty, we must always seek help because it can lead to other issues within our health. So please do not put up with the symptoms of iron deficiency anemia. If any of those symptoms resonate with you, then book an appointment with your GP. What the GP should be doing is assessing you and also after a simple few questions, then be sending you for a blood test, doing a full blood count, a ferritin level or something known as an iron studies blood test. We should also be checking you for celiac. If you are having heavy menstrual loss, that means you're changing a pad every hour or you are finding that you're getting heavy clots, document that and speak to the doctor as well because ultimately we should be investigating why you've got heavy periods. So that could be fibroids, polyps, endometriosis, adenomyosis or polycystic ovary syndrome. If we do find a cause that's brilliant, but we try and also give you some treatment at the same time, that could be transaminic acid, that means it reduces the amount of blood flow that you're having, or methanamic acid if you're getting pain and heavy periods as well, because we want to reduce the blood flow in that case. It could be that we put you on the hormonal contraceptive pill or a long-acting reversible contraceptive as well. So that's really just to help with the flow that you're having in order to reduce your, the impact of iron deficiency anemia. And then finally, Taking iron supplements is so important. And so I take iron supplement tablets, about 200 milligram iron tablets with vitamin C, and I get those from any high street pharmacy, a bare minimum about three times a week. It doesn't have to be branded, it can be any generic version as well, because it's so important to make sure that you have iron in your body. And then I also look at my diet. So just before my periods, a week before, I make sure that I have lots of rich leafy vegetables, spinach, broccoli, to get all that good iron supplementation to boost me up, because like I say, I crave a lot. So as a brown girl to another brown girl, I hope that's been helpful. But iron deficiency anemia is a medical condition. Please do not put up with it and speak to your doctor.